Have you ever had the opportunity to sit in a church meeting of any kind, whether it's a sacrament meeting, a class, a, a home teaching or visiting teaching from the past or a, visiting, a ministering visit in, in more recent times, or in a fireside, any of these settings, have you ever had the experience of sitting there and thinking to yourself, oh, this is this is so boring. I'm not getting anything out of this. Have you ever had that experience? In the spirit of gathering here, in the spirit of coming together to strengthen one another, what difference would it make if people in that classroom or people in that sacrament meeting or people in whatever that setting is, instead of sitting back and thinking, man, this, is, this isn't helpful, this is, this is wasting my time, or I'm not getting anything out of this. What if more of us spent more of that time thinking thoughts like these? Heavenly Father, I'm struggling to be edified here. I'm, I'm, my heart is not feeling what I know it could feel. My mind isn't being expanded and stretched. I don't want to just sit here and feel seat time to, to check a box, to say, yeah, I, I, I went to that meeting or I sat through that class. That's not what discipleship is uh, – that, that's not the kind of discipleship that's going to help me progress along the covenant path. So what if the shift then became, Heavenly Father, please bless that speaker. It's, it's apparent she's having a hard time or he's struggling. Help them to, to relax and know that they're loved and not judged and condemned. Help them to be able to teach in such a way that not just me but everybody in the congregation to one degree or another can feel of, of the spirit of the, the Holy Ghost helping them to want to be better and giving ideas of how we can be better, how we can be edified, or in a lesson setting, how might I be able to help this situation in this classroom that's struggling right now? How could I contribute in a way that would invite the Spirit of the Lord? So it's not just that we come together to physically be in the same place so that we can, again, check that box to say, well, I did my duty, but rather have it be an edification, a building up of each other, and in the process when we help build up others, the Lord is going to be building up, building us up in the process. What a difference it would make for all of us if we approached it as uh, Elder David A. Bednar loves to distinguish objects waiting to be acted upon versus agents ready and willing to act, use their agency and move forward. What an amazing thing it would be if we stopped taking a object waiting to be acted upon mentality into our gatherings and went in saying, Lord, who needs me today? Who can I lift? How can I bless? How can I be a conduit for, for thee to be able to invite the Spirit of the Holy Ghost into this meeting in whatever way I can do that in my, in my capacity? What a difference that might make for our gathering opportunities.